And sure enough, it hits something on the dark side of the moon, which is really just the back side. It's not really dark there, but it hits something. And but it sent it back, sent back about 20 gigs of data. And these images are available to the general public. They've been declassified, and there are strange anomalies on those images. This is pre Photoshop, pre everything. Things that shouldn't be there that look like broken structures and junk and things that just seem to be laying around. Ever looked up at the moon and wondered what secrets it might be hiding? Grok 3, one of the most advanced AI systems ever created, recently analyzed decades of lunar data and suggested something terrifying about the far side of the moon that scientists have been overlooking for years. These AI-driven findings about the moon's dark side might literally keep you up at night, but the evidence has been hiding in plain sight all along. The patterns Grok identified in the data point to something that changes our understanding of Earth's closest neighbor. What if everything we thought we knew about the moon's far side was fundamentally incomplete? Grok 3's analysis suggests we've been missing something crucial. The differences between the near side we see every night and the mysterious far side go far deeper than anyone realized. And what these differences could mean for future lunar missions is something NASA and other space agencies are now scrambling to understand. The shocking discovery Grok 3 has identified something on the far side of the moon that scientists have been overlooking for decades. When analyzing thousands of data points from lunar missions, the AI flagged anomalous patterns that suggest our understanding of the moon is dangerously incomplete. The hidden patterns. When analyzing lunar data from NASA, ESA, and the Chinese Space Agency, Grok 3 connected information that has puzzled scientists for years, but was never properly linked. The AI didn't just process the information, it found correlations no human researcher had spotted in decades of study. AI systems like Grok can analyze patterns in scientific data that humans simply miss. This is a verified fact about advanced AI systems. Our brains aren't wired to spot connections across thousands of data points spanning different missions and decades. But these systems excel at exactly this kind of analysis. The disturbing patterns. The AI focused specifically on three types of measurements from the moon's far side. Radiation readings, seismic activity, and temperature fluctuations. And what it found was shocking. The far side of the moon experiences extreme temperature fluctuations that NASA has verified, swinging from 260 degrees Fahrenheit, 127 degrees Celsius, during lunar day to negative 280 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 173 degrees Celsius, during lunar night. But Grok 3 noticed something odd in the timing and distribution of these temperature changes that doesn't align with our models of lunar physics. The hidden connections. What's truly remarkable is how Grok 3 connected seemingly unrelated data points. When the AI overlaid temperature anomalies with seismic readings and radiation spikes from the far side, a clear pattern emerged. One that suggests something fundamentally different about the moon's composition than we previously understood. Scientists have been analyzing this data for decades without seeing these connections. As planetary scientist Dr. Sarah Johnson noted in her recent publication, advanced pattern recognition systems are revealing correlations in lunar data that challenge our existing models of the moon's internal structure. Strange lunar phenomena. Let's examine the hard evidence that led to Grok 3's unsettling conclusions. The far side of the moon has long been a source of scientific curiosity since we first photographed it in 1959. One of the most compelling pieces of evidence comes from magnetic field measurements. Unlike Earth, the moon doesn't have a global magnetic field, but lunar missions have documented unusual magnetic anomalies that exist specifically on the lunar far side. These aren't theoretical. They've been measured by multiple missions, including Apollo, Lunar Prospector, and more recently by India's Chandrayaan missions. The curious asymmetry. Perhaps the most obvious difference is visual. The far side of the moon has a significantly thicker crust and fewer maria, the dark spots visible from Earth, than the near side. This stark contrast has puzzled scientists for generations. This asymmetry isn't just cosmetic. The thicker crust contains different mineral compositions and has been subjected to different impact histories. What Grok 3 identified was subtle patterns in how these physical differences correlate with other anomalous readings. The mysterious mass. 
The South Pole Aitken Basin on the far side contains what scientists call anomalous mass concentrations, verified by NASA's GRAIL mission in 2012. This massive impact basin holds something beneath its surface with significantly more mass than the surrounding lunar material. Some scientists have proposed this might be metal from the asteroid that created the basin, but Grok 3's analysis of the data suggests the mass anomalies might have a different origin entirely. The pattern emerges. When combined with thermal mapping data from multiple space agencies, a clear picture emerges. The locations where temperature fluctuations are most extreme align perfectly with these magnetic anomalies and mass concentrations. These aren't just random anomalies. They form a pattern that points to something unexpected that might change our understanding of our closest celestial neighbor. The correlation is too perfect to be coincidental, according to the AI's probabilistic analysis. When we reached out to planetary scientists about these findings, the response was illuminating. Dr. Maria Zuber, who led NASA's GRAIL mission and is a renowned planetary geologist at MIT, has extensively studied lunar formation. While not commenting specifically on Grok 3's analysis, her published research suggests that the moon's asymmetry remains one of the most profound mysteries in planetary science. This asymmetry has shaped scientific consensus about lunar formation for decades. Most researchers agree that the moon formed from debris after a Mars-sized object collided with early Earth, but this doesn't fully explain the dramatic differences between the near and far sides. AI and scientific discovery. What makes Grok 3's approach revolutionary is how it complements traditional scientific investigation. While human scientists excel at developing hypotheses and designing experiments, AI excels at finding patterns across disparate datasets. Advanced machine learning systems can identify correlations that we might never notice, explains computational astronomer Dr. Andrew Williams. They don't replace human scientists, but instead point us in new directions to investigate. New data from the far side. China's Chang'e missions have gathered groundbreaking new data about the far side's composition, providing the most detailed look yet at this mysterious region. The Chang'e 4 lander, which touched down in 2019, became the first mission to land on the lunar far side and has transmitted crucial information about soil composition and subsurface structures. This data, when fed into Grok 3's analysis, helped reveal connections between surface composition and the deeper anomalies detected by other missions. The challenges of lunar far side exploration. Studying the far side presents unique challenges that have limited our understanding. The most significant hurdle is communication. Since the far side always faces away from Earth, direct radio contact is impossible. Missions require relay satellites in lunar orbit to transmit data. Additionally, only a handful of missions have directly studied the far side. The logistical complexities and higher costs have meant that our data is limited compared to the near side, creating gaps in our knowledge that Grok 3 has been attempting to fill through analysis of the data we do have. The deeper mystery. But the most unsettling aspect of Grok 3's analysis hasn't even been revealed yet. What the AI discovered about the relationship between these anomalies suggests implications for future lunar exploration that space agencies are only beginning to grapple with. The AIS Alarming Conclusions According to Grok 3's analysis, these interconnected anomalies point to a lunar far side that is fundamentally different from what mission planners have been assuming. The AI's pattern recognition suggests that the combination of magnetic anomalies temperature fluctuations, and mass concentrations could create environmental conditions far more hostile than previously modeled. What makes this truly concerning isn't speculation about alien bases or lunar conspiracies. It's the hard scientific reality that we've been planning missions based on potentially flawed assumptions about lunar conditions. Impact on future lunar missions. NASA's Artemis program, which aims to return humans to the moon and eventually establish a permanent presence, will be directly affected by these findings. Future Artemis missions will gather more comprehensive data about these phenomena, with specialized equipment designed to investigate the anomalies Grok 3 has highlighted.
The Artemis missions represent our best opportunity to resolve these questions, explains Dr. James Carpenter of the European Space Agency. We're incorporating new measurement capabilities specifically targeted at understanding the far side's unique properties. But there's a catch. What if the data comes too late? Several planned missions are already targeting the lunar south pole, an area with some of the most significant anomalies identified in Grok-3's analysis. The Habitat Challenge. These findings raise legitimate concerns for human lunar habitation plans. If the temperature fluctuations are more extreme than our models predict, or if the magnetic anomalies interact with equipment in unexpected ways, it could require complete redesigns of habitat shielding and life support systems. The mass concentrations could even affect local gravity fields, potentially causing structural stresses on lunar bases that haven't been accounted for in current designs. Engineers would need to completely rethink construction techniques for lunar habitats. Competing scientific explanations. Several theories might explain the patterns Grok-3 identified. Some scientists suggest that the far side might contain higher concentrations of radioactive elements, causing both the thermal anomalies and potentially affecting instrumentation. Others propose that the thicker crust on the far side might be capturing and concentrating solar wind particles differently, creating the magnetic anomalies that have been measured. A third theory suggests that the South Pole Aitken Basin impact may have exposed deeper lunar material with fundamentally different properties than surface regolith, explaining the mass concentrations and their correlation with other readings. The True Nightmare The real nightmare isn't some sensational discovery, it's the realization of how little we truly understand about our closest celestial neighbor despite over 60 years of lunar exploration. Grok-3's analysis exposes the enormous gaps in our knowledge that could impact billions of dollars in planned missions and potentially put astronauts at risk. This is the terrifying revelation. We've been proceeding with confidence while missing crucial patterns hiding in plain sight. The far side of the moon may be far more dangerous and unpredictable than we've been preparing for. Scientific Perspective while Grok-3's analysis is compelling, we need to place these findings in their proper scientific context. The patterns identified are real, but their interpretation requires careful scientific validation. The lunar anomalies exist, that's established fact, but their causes remain under investigation by the scientific community. Dr. Emily Sanders, lunar geophysicist at Johns Hopkins University, emphasizes the far side anomalies are fascinating and real. What we're still working to understand is how they interconnect and what that means for our models of lunar formation and evolution. AI capabilities and limitations. It's important to understand that while AI systems like Grok-3 excel at finding patterns humans might miss, they also have inherent limitations. They can identify correlations in data but can't definitively establish causation without experimental verification. What makes Grok-3's analysis valuable isn't that it provides final answers, but that it points researchers toward new questions they should be asking, identifying connections worth investigating further with targeted measurements and experiments. The need for verification. This is precisely why further investigation is crucial. The patterns Grok-3 identified need to be confirmed through direct observation and measurement. The AI's analysis suggests hypotheses that must now be tested through the scientific method. The good news is that several missions are already being planned that will help verify or refute these hypotheses. NASA's Artemis program will place instruments specifically designed to measure lunar conditions in unprecedented detail. Upcoming Lunar Missions the next five years will see more lunar exploration than the previous five decades combined. NASA's Artemis missions, China's Chang'e 6 and 7, Russia's Luna 25, and various commercial lunar payload services will all contribute valuable data. The NASA Viper rover, scheduled to explore the lunar south pole in 2024, will directly investigate some of the anomalous regions identified in Grok-3's analysis. Meanwhile, Japan's LUPEX mission will drill into the lunar surface to study subsurface composition. 
The scientific implications. What makes these findings so intriguing isn't some far-fetched speculation, but the legitimate scientific implications they hold. If confirmed, they would require us to revise our understanding of lunar formation, internal structure, and evolution. Most exciting is how this might change our understanding of planetary development throughout the solar system. If the moon's far side tells a different story than we thought, it could provide insights into how other planetary bodies formed and evolved, potentially changing our models of solar system evolution. The Bigger Picture What we've explored today reveals something profound about space exploration in the 21st century. The far side of the moon, our closest celestial neighbor, still holds mysteries capable of challenging our fundamental understanding of planetary science. Grok 3's analysis has highlighted connections between verified phenomena that demand further investigation. The unusual magnetic anomalies, extreme temperature fluctuations, the thicker crust with fewer maria, and the mysterious mass concentrations in the South Pole Aitken Basin. The AI Revolution in Space Science This represents a new frontier in space exploration, where AI tools like Grok 3 are revolutionizing how we analyze astronomical data. By identifying patterns across vast data sets from different missions and time periods, these systems are accelerating discovery in ways previously impossible. We're entering an era where AI and human scientists work as partners, notes Dr. Robert Martinez, computational astrophysicist. The AI identifies patterns we might miss, and we design the experiments to test what those patterns mean. The most fascinating lunar facts. The moon's far side remains one of the most intriguing places in our solar system. Did you know that a day on the lunar far side lasts approximately 29.5 Earth days? Or that the South Pole Aitken Basin is one of the largest known impact craters in our solar system, measuring roughly 1,600 miles, 2,500 kilometers across, and eight miles, 13 kilometers deep? These verified facts only scratch the surface of what makes the far side so remarkable and what future missions will help us understand more completely. The nightmare isn't some science fiction scenario. It's the sobering realization of how incomplete our knowledge remains despite decades of lunar exploration. As we prepare to send humans back to the moon, addressing these knowledge gaps becomes increasingly crucial. If these moon mysteries fascinate you as much as they do us, Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss our upcoming video on what deep space telescopes are revealing about exoplanets that defy explanation. The universe is full of mysteries waiting to be discovered, and we're bringing them directly to you each week. Directly to you each week.